the second kisan law march uh, led by the <coughs> kisan sabha maharashtra unit uh, concluded yesterday midnight uh, with a tremendous victory <coughs> uh it went on for two days the first day there was a huge public meeting uh which was addressed by kisan sabha general secretary hanan molla and uh, many other leaders <coughs> uh many people ask how did this long march end only in two days when the last long march went on for seven days right from nasik up to mumbai the simple reason of this is <coughs> that for the last long march the bjp led government was so utterly insensitive <coughs> that it did not even open negotiations with us until the second last day of the long march <coughs> that also they finally opened negotiations because of the unprecedented support that the long march was getting among the people all over india of course in maharashtra of course in mumbai <coughs> and that really terrified them into action and as a result of it on the 12th of march 2018 uh, they concluded an agreement with the uh, kisan sabha uh in which they conceded almost all the demands they also according to our insistence placed it on the floor of the vidhan sabha the next day uh but learning from that experience this time for the last one year the tragedy is that this government did not take even a single review meeting of what they had implemented last time of what they had agreed to last time although we made repeated reminders to them for this uh a uh, review meeting of the implementation and therefore finally left with no choice the maharashtra kisan sabha took the decision on the 4th of february in our state council meeting to once again relaunch the second kisan long march we announced it in a press conference in nasik the same evening and after that uh, really things started turning the government immediately approached us and asked us to come for talks two talks were held with the chief minister on the 11th february and on the 17th of february the second one was a much wider meeting with the chief minister many other ministers and officials and the entire kisan sabha delegation even then uh, some of the demands remained uh, inconclusive and therefore we decided to go ahead with the long march from nasik on 20th of february uh, when we gathered here just before that we came to know that the government has raised the entire this thing of repression against the farmers from uh, ahmednagar district and thane and palgar districts our state secretary ajit navle a totally false and trumped up case was uh, filed against him uh, without absolutely any reason 3 days before they had decided to arrest him and prevent him from coming for the long march uh, we asked him to go underground which he did and therefore he was very much there in the long march then they started harassing the activists of the kisan sabha in ahmednagar district the worst thing they did on the 20th of february was nearly 10000 farmers coming to the long march in nasik from thane and palgar districts uh, they stopped their vehicles at several places in thane and palgar districts shahpur dahanu jawhar vikramgarh all these places and therefore uh, they tried to sort of uh, sabotage this long march prevent people from coming into nasik uh, we made a big issue of this in the media this whole state repression going on and i think that had a tremendous impact it put pressure on the government in the evening they were forced to release all those farmers whom they had detained uh, over there on the highways uh, in the night they all reached and therefore we decided we were supposed to take out the long march on 20th february evening we said that we will take the long march with the entire contingent not only with a part of it and therefore we did not take out on the same day evening the uh, same evening that day uh, the um, senior minister girish mahajan was sent by the chief minister to again have talks with the kisan sabha delegation in nasik he came there in the night we had a two and a half hour discussion with him and uh, many of the undecided things etc they were uh, discussed they were decided he said i will take the chief minister's uh, uh, this thing i mean uh, concurrence and then he will come back to us we told him clearly that unless we have something in writing uh, we are not going to stop this long march from the next day morning then he pleaded no no don't take it out just sit in nasik i will come with the written agreement etc we said see we are a 
organization our honor is important to us our determination is important we had said that the long march will start and therefore it will start whenever your agreement is ready you come and meet us in the march and therefore although police permission was denied officially and uh, in writing to the kisan long march on the 10th of uh, uh, on the 21st of february at about 10 am uh, nearly 30000 farmers they began this long march from nasik uh, in the direction of mumbai we walked nearly 20 kilometers and after that uh, by about we stopped for lunch as the last time the experience farmers were cooking their own lunch they had their lunch and at 4 o'clock in the evening the ministers two of them uh, mr girish mahajan and mr jay kumar rawal of the state government came there with the draft that they had prepared of the agreement we went through the kisan sabha office bearers went through that agreement we found it completely unsatisfactory many of the things that they had already committed in the earlier meetings we saw that they were not there in the draft agreement so therefore nearly 2 and a half 3 hours was spent with the kisan sabha leadership telling them what exactly is to be put in the agreement we actually dictated some parts of it which after a lot of trouble finally they had to agree and therefore after that the fresh agreement was drawn up uh, it was presented to us we decided on that and then we called a meeting of the all india kisan sabha maharashtra office bearers uh, placed the situation before them uh, whatever has been conceded and after that then the kisan sabha office bearers decided that they will uh, ratify this agreement and then we decided to call off this march uh, we went to the media mr girish mahajan placed what all he has conceded in front of the entire electronic and the press media and after that uh, we took a huge public meeting in the night which continued till past after midnight where we made the minister commit in front of the entire farmers who had gathered what exactly they have actually agreed upon and therefore that was done after that then all of us kisan sabha leaders addressed the meeting after the ministers had gone and we placed our point of view regarding this one of the very important things that we placed was the supreme court judgment which is extremely unfortunate extremely insensitive and absolutely anti adivasi judgment uh, where those who have not qualified under the forest rights act as a result of the callousness of the state government's concern the supreme court has now ordered that those adivasi farmers will be evicted from their lands such a judgment came about precisely because the narendra modi government just did not keep a counsel that is a lawyer present when the crucial hearing of this petition was going on and that is a very clear pointer of what exactly the modi government wants that these adivasi lands they want to anyway give it to the corporates so this thing was also condemned in that huge public meeting at the end of the uh, kisan long march uh, many of the things that they have conceded now Uh, regarding uh, maharashtra drought situation relief uh, the water rivers question the implementation of the forest rights act uh, the increase in the pension for agricultural workers and poor farmers also the whole question of the public distribution system the rationing thing also increase in the uh, debt relief for the farmers etc many of these things they have had to agree in writing but more important than all this last time also they had agreed on many things given in writing this time according to our insistence they have had to agree and they have had to uh, declare in front of the media that every two months a review meeting of the government the administration and the kisan sabha will be held every two months to take stock and review of the implementation of the agreement which they have given us yesterday so therefore every two months the kisan sabha will be at their throats we will be hounding them for this for the implementation which they have not done for the last entire one year and that is the guarantee that certain amount of definitely some implementation will be done in some issues they have also given a time limit uh, in which we will implement for example the increase in pension which is now only 600 rupees a very paltry amount Uh, to the old age farmers and agricultural workers they have told us right in the month of february this month itself uh, this pension is going to be raised this they have given us a time limit they have given us a 3 month time limit for disposing of all the 
claims under the Forest Rights Act. Only in the Surgana Taluka of Nasik district have some progress been made as a result of the continuous efforts done by our Kisan Sabha leader and sitting MLA, uh, Comrade J.P. Gavit. But all over the rest of Maharashtra, things are absolutely in a pitiful condition regarding the Forest Rights Act implementation. So on the, uh, these matters, they have given a time limit and which we are going to make them stick to that time limit in these uh, review meetings that we'll be having periodically. I think that this Kisan Long March had a tremendous impact all over the state, all over India. Uh, the last Kisan Long March, for the first three days, the entire mainstream media almost blocked it out. It was only after that famous video went viral all over the country that the media woke up with a start and towards the last three or four days they gave a, a tremendous publicity for which of course we are grateful. But this time, even before the long march, the media, mainstream media, the um, uh, press, electronic media, uh, they were doing an excellent job. They really took this long march to the entire country. But the very important role played by the social media in both the Kisan long march last year and this year should not at all be underestimated. The social media really did a fantastically excellent job of really propagating this entire Kisan long march of this time uh, to the entire country. And we are really grateful to the social media teams all over the country for having helped us to popularize this thing. Uh, once again, the farmers issue, the agrarian crisis has come to the fore of the country on the eve of the general elections. And we have made an appeal to the farmers who had gathered there, thousands of them. We have said that, for example, the 6,000 rupees pittance, which the Narendra Modi government has given the farmers after having uh, betrayed his two major promises in 2014 of a complete loan waiver to farmers of implementing the Swaminathan Commission recommendation of one and a half times the cost of production as MSP. Instead of doing all this, now he is trying to rub salt into the wounds of farmers by giving them this pittance of 6,000 rupees, which translates to 3.33 uh, paise per farmer uh, per uh, head per, per day. So all this thing we are now taking up, we will be taking up all over the country. The All India Kisan Sabha has already decided that the entire anti-farmer attitude of the Modi government and here of the Fadnavis government also will become a major issue in the elections to come. And just as the BJP got it between the teeth in the Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh assembly elections, we are sure that the farmers of India will also give them the, this thing of their lives in the coming general elections that will be due in another two months time. Oh,